New Year, and welcome to another edition of Inside the Vinyl. I'm your host, Tim Bayanconi. If you would, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below. That would be greatly appreciated. If you could also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out new material, that would be appreciated also. So I'm going to get back into my live album series now that it's a new year and a lot of the new box set releases and reissues have kind of slowed down for now. Uh, so it gives me a chance to come back and focus on some live albums and also some lost classics. But this time, like I said, it will be a live album. And I'm going uh, to focus on a band that everybody knows and loves. And that would be Foghat. And their 1977 album, Foghat Live. All right. So just a little backstory here. Uh, this album was released on August 19th, 1977 on Bearsville Records. Uh, it was recorded on May the 10th, 1977 in Henrietta, New York. Uh, on, as far as the Billboard charts are concerned, it uh, peaked at number 11 and has been certified two times or double platinum by the Record Industry Association of America, making it Fog Hat's best-selling album. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. All right. So, you yeah, know, here we go. Cover, Fog Hat Live. And we'll come back to this cover in just a second. Uh, on the back here, you've got the track listing. You've also got some live shots of the band and some liner notes and everything at the bottom. So one of the things that's really cool about this cover um, is you can see the letters for the letters for the word live are cut out. So right there, you see pictures of the band in each one of the letters. However, if I were to pull out the inner sleeve, uh, you know you can see uh, on one side there is the same pictures um, that you just saw on the cover of the record. Uh, on the back, there are just some random photos. And I think if I put this in backwards, it might line up. Or it just, you know, it just gives you a different perspective. You know, you could look at the live, or the, excuse me, the random photos uh, of the band on tour uh, through the letters there. So I always thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but it does look better the other way. So again, um, so you know, here's Foghat Live without the inner sleeve. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. So like I said, on one side of the inner sleeve, uh, we have... Uh, live photos of the band members and on the back what looks like random photos of the band as well as crew and maybe even some family uh, while on tour in 1977 uh, and if we pull out the record you know again this is 70s nothing too too special here uh, it just has the Bearsville sticker in the middle uh, with the trap listing on one side uh, and it's the same thing on the other side uh, this copy of this record actually is in very very good condition uh, so let's go ahead and put this all back together. All right. Made in the USA. Which is funny because it's a bridge band. All right, so there you have it, Fog Hat Live. Uh, so the ratings on this album uh, were generally favorable. Uh, it does contain the band's three biggest hits, Fool for the City, uh, I Just Want to Make Love to You, as well as Slow Ride. Um, it also contains some other really cool songs, Home in My Hand, Road Fever, Honey Hush, and that pretty much makes up the entire live album, uh, which is probably my only complaint. Um, as far as the sound on the album is concerned, the band sounds amazing, the recordings are great. Uh, unfortunately for me, I think the part that I don't like the most about it is it is really short. Um, it's only a 38 minute live album and it only has six songs. And I'm sure at this point in their career, five or six albums in, uh, you know, gold and platinum selling band, I'm sure they played venues big enough to where they should have been headlining and been able to record uh, a total live album, uh, maybe a two record set. I don't know, maybe they were going for something different and they didn't want to have a, you know, overpriced two record set like everybody else. Uh, so they just decided to put three of their biggest hits and three other tracks on here and just make, you know, a, a pretty basic live album, almost live EP if you want to call it that, although it is over 30 minutes. So, um, the, the band members at the time uh, did contain uh, three original members. Uh, that would be Lonesome Dave Peverd on vocals, Rod Price on guitar, Roger Earl on drums, and Craig McGregor on bass guitar. Now, he joined the band uh, after the recording of Fool for the City, which was a couple albums before this. Uh, so you do have three-fourths of the original band. Um, again, this is their biggest album. And it's kind of funny because one thing I've always thought was crazy about Foghat is the fact that you know, they, they are a very American boogie and some and sometimes even Southern rock, you know, maybe somewhat Southern rock, but somewhat like Detroit rock. Yet this is a British band, uh, but nothing about their music or anything they've done, in my opinion, uh, says they're a British band. Um, but again, check it out. There's really not much more to say. Uh, I wanted to start back off uh, this new year nice and easy with a short live album video. 
Again, check it out, Fog Hat Live. It's got the full version of Slow Ride, uh, which is smoking. Again, full for the city and their cover of Willie Dixon's I Just Want to Make Love to You. Uh, so check it out, great live album. And you know, it's a little short, but again, great live album and great way to start out the new year. So that's all I've got for you this time. Uh, again, if you would, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out new content. I've got some other things on my channel. I've got the rest of my live album series. Uh, my Inside the Vinyl live albums, as well as my Lost Classics series, uh, where we discuss albums that I think everybody should hear. Um, I've also got my Unboxing the Vinyl series, where we open up reissues, new releases, box sets. Uh, sometimes if I pick up an old record uh, that's still sealed, you know, I might open up that on here just because I'm excited. Uh, you know, whatever. I've also got some live footage from, from some different festivals. Welcome to Rockville's, uh, Exit 111. There's some footage from a KISS concert. Uh, just put out some new coverage on that from the, from the last Welcome to Rockville a, few month, a couple months ago. I uh, hope to have some more things coming down the pike. And last but not least, if you're into disc golf, I have some very mediocre disc golf videos starring some very, some very mediocre players, myself included. So again, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.